Hey, what's up? It's Chris Young. We're going to talk about some gotta haves when you're talking about weight distribution. But first and foremost, you're probably thinking, what is weight distribution? Well, when you're pulling a travel trailer, weight distribution is the proper approach when applying the equal amount of weight on each axle or wheel of the vehicles that are in tow and towing. Do you need it? There's a couple of rules and a couple of schools of thought here. One rule is going to go by what your manufacturer says in the book of the tow vehicle. Always go by what they recommend. If they say you need a weight distribution hitch when towing anything, then you absolutely want to get one. The other one is there's a rule of thumb. If you're towing something that's about 50% the weight of the tow vehicle, then you're going to want a weight distribution hitch. The ones I'm going to show you today are going to be weight distribution with sway control because whether you load the vehicle in the front or the rear, which by the way, always load in the front first. If you have to put stuff in the rear, try not to, but put it in the front. These are going to also offer you sway control, which is extremely important when you're talking about towing that vehicle. We're going to have two point sway control and four point sway control. But plain and simple, do you need a weight distribution hitch when pulling a a travel trailer? Yeah. TLDR? Yeah, you need one. Now, let's take a look at them. I want to start off with some options with a great one. Camco is a name that's been long known in the industry for making tremendous RV products. When it comes to a weight distribution hitch, got to tell you, the Recurve, the R3, and the R6 are both fantastic options. The R3, like I have here, is you're going to see a solid steel, corrosion resistant, round bar hitch, which means round bar is going to give you a little bit smoother of a tow versus the trunnion or the square bar, which is going to be a little bit more of a rigid tow. In these round bar setups, most of them enter under the bottom side of the hitch head. I like how Camco put theirs on top, but what's really cool about their system, aside from the solid steel shank with the adjustable holes here for moving your hitch head up and down, you also have a thumb screw when you're talking about setting up your pitch. You do have either a two or a two and five sixteenth inch, inch hitch ball, but they have adjustable sway control in the hitch head here, giving you as little or as much as you need with one bolt in the back that you just adjust. What does that do? If you're going to be going down smooth roads and you don't want any sway, then you lock it in place so it doesn't move because you get two point sway control on the R3. If you're going to be going over rugged terrain, loosen it up so you can move around a little bit more. But great hitch with weight distribution and sway control, no chains, easy to hook up, easy to adjust. All you do is just pop it in the top, wait till you hear the click, then you can use the spring arm bar if you need to, the lift bar, to latch onto your adjustable hangers which go on your travel trailer. Great little setup and since there's no chains, you don't have to worry about taking anything off when backing up your travel trailer. Now, when you're talking about another better option for weight distribution with sway control built in, Fastway also makes the E2 round bar or what's known as the torsion weight distribution system. No chains are needed. You got built in sway control and these round bars are dipped, corrosion resistant, solid USA steel. The installation, pretty much the same as you're going to find with all the weight distribution hitches. Inside the kit, you're going to find the shank here with multiple positions, the heavy duty hitch head with your inserts on both sides. Plus, you're going to have your spring up bar, your L brackets, your mounts, all the retainer pins that you're going to need. And when you're talking about setting this one up, fairly easy. Just watch yourself a little bit. Find a good insert point and locks into place. Now, the only thing with the round bar systems that I've found, because of the weights that they come in, six, eight, or 10,000 pounds, if your travel trailer is heavier than 10,000 pounds, or you need a little bit more rigid sway control, you probably don't want to go with round bar. The other thing is if you have a low tow vehicle, the ground clearance because of where the bars enter into the hitch head could also pose some potential issues. But flexibility, easy hookup, no chains, nothing to take off when backing your travel trailer. This one here, another better option when you're talking about weight distribution with sway control. Now you're going to get, with the Fastway E2, you're going to get two points of sway control on your weight distribution hitch. No chains needed. You don't have to worry about taking anything off to back up your RV. But what's great about this one is thanks to the trunnion bar, it's going to be a little bit more of a rigid, safe 
less swaying toe than if you did the round bar. And when you get something like the E2, you're going to find these are rolled and dipped solid steel. They're corrosion resistant. You got the hitch head and you get either a two or a two and five sixteenth inch ball to go on the hitch head just based off, you know, which travel trailer you're going to be towing and the shank here with multiple positioning uh, plus your spring up bar as well as your L brackets and everything you need to keep it secure. But when you're talking about a better or, or a really a great option, all the ones I'm showing you today are great options. It really just depends on the weight that you're trying to tow. With this one, when you're talking trunnion, you're going to be doing a heavier tow with less sway. And if you're going to be doing a lot of up or down hills, these are going to be the way that you want to go. Now, in my opinion, if you're looking for like the best option that's out there, they've been doing it for 75 years. Fastway makes the original EQ hitch. This is a weight distribution hitch with four point sway control. And I gotta tell you, it's probably one of the best you're gonna find on the market. Not only is this made with heavy duty, dipped corrosion resistant made in the USA steel, you're going to get everything from the heavy duty shank that goes into the receiver here with the steel latch pin, uh, with the adjustable hitch head here. And depending on the weight of the hitch that you're gonna get, you're going to get either a two or a two and five sixteenth inch ball on there. But what's great about the EQ is a look at these trunnion bars that we have here. They're grooved so that they match up with the friction resistant or the friction head here that we have here. And what this friction head is going to do is that's going to allow the sway control to really engage. You really get four points of sway control, two when you mount it onto the travel trailer and two right here at the hitch head. A lot of times you get a little bit more movement if you don't have that true friction head like we have here. So heavier campers, true sway control or just true peace of mind this is the weight distribution hitch that you're going to want to go with. So there you have it. Some gotta have it. So when you're talking about towing something even as small as this, whether it's a small travel trailer or a big travel trailer, having a weight distribution hitch with sway control, I got to tell you, it's, it's a gotta have just for that peace of mind. Whether you're going to do round bar or whether you're going to do trunnion, get one that's right for you. And you can find it by heading to your local Camping World or to CampingWorld.com.